Ben, I just remembered I never filled in that form for Nick. Ah. Did you do it? The course feedback form? Yes. If you want, we can do it together. I've got mine here. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look then. What do we have to do? Let's fill in the top first. Let's see. Course, course code. Uh, it's communication in business. Okay. Communication in business. I do know that, but what's the code? CB16 something. CB162, isn't it? Mm, that's it. Okay. And dates. When did we start? I remember my birthday's on May 4th, and it was the day after. It must have been May 5th. Gosh, doesn't seem that long ago, does it? No. And we finish at the end of this week on Friday, so that's uh, July 15th. Uh, 16th. Oh. Mon Monday was the 12th. Yeah. Right, that was the easy bit. <laughs> now, let's have a look. Mm. Please mm. give your comments on the following aspects of the course. Okay, what's the first one? Oh, course organization. Mm. What do you think? Uh, clear. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the organization was clear. Mm. Okay, anything else for course organization? Um, it was a good thing he gave us the course outline at the beginning, in the first session. That was useful, so I'll put that down, shall I? Yeah. Now, going on to suggestions for improvement, one thing that wasn't so good, I think we could have done a bit more work at the beginning. I mean, at the beginning, it seemed dead easy. Yeah. I thought it was going to be really easy, and then all of a sudden in the second half of the course, we got a whole load of work, yeah. reading to do and essays and things. Yeah, it'd be better if it was more even. Mm. Okay, now course delivery. Does that mean teaching? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, what I thought was really good on this course was the standard of teaching. Actually, I mean, some of the teachers were better than others, yeah. but the standard generally was fine. Much better than other courses I've been on. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Let's put that then. Okay. What about suggestions for improvement? I... I didn't think it was all that wonderful when we had great long group discussion sessions that went on for hours and hours. <laughs> right. I don't mean we shouldn't have group discussions, just that they shouldn't go on too long. Now, on to materials and equipment. Oh, now, what was good about some sessions was the handouts. Yes, I thought all the handouts were good, actually, and some were great, with website addresses and everything. Mm. One problem, though, with materials was the key texts. Yes, there just weren't enough copies on reserve in the library. And if you can't get the key texts before the session, how are you supposed to do the reading? Yeah. And not enough computers. You have to wait ages to get one. Okay, testing and evaluation. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say until we've got our written assignments back. Oh, don't talk about it. I only got mine in yesterday. It was a real struggle. Oh, I hate to think what mark I'll get. Yeah, but at least we've done the oral presentation. Mm. I thought that was good, the way I got my feedback really quickly. Yes, it was. And I liked the way we knew what would be evaluated on. We knew the criteria, so we knew we had to think about clarity, organization, and so on. Yeah, but I'm not so sure about the written work. Mm. One thing, I think, is that there's just too much. It's really stressful. Oh, yes, I'd agree. And I don't see why they can't let us know the criteria they use for marking. The written assignments? But he told us. No, for the final exams. Oh. What are they looking for? What are the criteria? What makes a pass or a fail? Yeah, I never thought of that. It'd be really useful. Mm. Okay, any other comments? I thought student support was excellent. Yeah, me too. Okay, excellent. Other comments? No, I can't think of anything else. Mm, nor me. Okay, so that's done. Thanks, Ben. No, thank you. Well, my group has been doing a project on how household waste is recycled in Britain. Uh, we were quite shocked to discover that only 9% of people here in the UK make an effort to recycle their household waste. 
This is a lower figure than in most other European countries and needs to increase dramatically in the next few years if the government is going to meet its recycling targets. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008 we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. And recycling can help to achieve that goal in two main ways. The production of recycled glass and paper uses much less energy than producing them from virgin materials. And also, recycling reduces greenhouse gas emissions from landfill sites and incineration plants. As part of our project, we carried out a survey of people in the street. And the thing that came up over and over again is that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites, that is, the places where the public are supposed to take their waste. We also discovered that waste that's collected from householders is taken to places called bring banks for sorting and bailing into loads. One problem here is taking out everything that shouldn't have been placed in the recycling containers. People put all sorts of things into bottle banks, like plastic bags and even broken umbrellas. All this has to be removed by hand. Another difficulty is that toughened glass used for cooking doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glass, and so that also has to be picked out by hand. Glass is easy to recycle because it can be reused over and over again without becoming weaker. Two million tons of glass is thrown away each year. That is, seven billion bottles and jars. But only 500,000 tons of that is collected and recycled. Oddly enough, half the glass that's collected is green, and a lot of that is imported. So more green glass is recycled than the UK needs. As a result, new uses are being developed for recycled glass, particularly green glass. For example, in fiberglass manufacture and water filtration. A company called CLF Aggregates makes a product for roads, and 30% of the material is crushed glass. For recycling paper, Britain comes second in Europe with 40%, behind Germany's amazing 70%. When recycling started, there were quality problems, so it was difficult to use recycled paper in office printers, but these problems have now been solved. And Martins, based in South London, produces a range of office stationery which is 100% recycled. Costs the same as normal paper and is of equally high quality. But this high quality comes at a cost in terms of the waste produced during the process. Over a third of the waste paper that comes in can't be used in the recycled paper, leaving the question of what to do with it. One firm, PaperSave, currently sells this to farmers as a soil conditioner, though this practice will soon be banned because of transport costs and the smell and the company is looking into the possibility of alternative uses. Plastic causes problems, because there are so many different types of plastic in use today, and each one has to be dealt with differently. Packrite recycles all sorts of things, from bottles to car bumpers, and one of its most successful activities is recycling plastic bottles to make containers which are used all over the country to collect waste. The Save a Cup scheme was set up by the vending and plastics industries to recycle as many as possible of the three and a half billion polystyrene cups used each year. At the moment, 500 million poly cups are collected, processed, and sold on to other businesses such as Waterford, which turns the cups into pencils, and Johnson & Jones, a Welch-based firm, which has developed a wide variety of items including business cards. Well, to sum up, there seems to be plenty of research going on into how to reuse materials. But the biggest problem is getting people to think about recycling instead of throwing things away. At least doing the research made us much more careful.
Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Um, I understand you help fix up students with host families. That's right. Are you interested in?、Uh... Yes. Well, please sit down, and I'll just take a few details.、Oh, thank you. Right now, what name is it? Jenny Chan. Can you spell that, please? Yes, J E N N Y C H A N. Right, and what is your present address? Sea View Guest House, fourteen Hill Road. Okay, and do you know the phone number there? Yes, I, I have it here. Um, uh, two two three seven six seven six. But I'm only there after about seven p.m. So when would be the best time to catch you? I suppose between nine and let me see, half past before I leave for the college. Great. And can I ask you your age? I've just had my nineteenth birthday. And how long would you want to stay with the host family? I'm planning on staying a year, but at the moment I'm definitely here for four months only. I have to get an extension to my permit. You're working on it.、Mm. Fine. And what will be your occupation while you're in the UK? Studying English. And what would you say your level of English is? <laughs> um. Good, I think. I'd like to say advanced, but my written work is below the level of my spoken, so I suppose it's intermediate.、Mm, certainly, your spoken English is advanced. Anyway, which area do you think you would prefer? Um. Well, I'm studying right in the center, but I'd really like to live in the northwest. That shouldn't be a great problem. We usually have lots of families up there. And do you have any particular requirements for diet? Well, I'm nearly a vegetarian, not quite. Shall I say you are? It's probably easier that way. <laughs> that would be best. Anything about your actual room?、Uh, I would prefer my own facilities, en suite. Is that right?、Mm -hmm. And also, if it's possible, a TV. And I'd also like the house to have a real garden. Rather than just a yard, somewhere I could sit and be peaceful. Is that all? Well, I'm really serious about improving my English, so I'd prefer to be the only guest, if that's possible. No other guests. Yes, you get more practice that way. Anyway, obviously, all this is partly dependent on how much you're willing to pay. What did you have in mind? I was thinking in terms of about. Sixty to eighty pounds a week, but I'd go up to a hundred if it was something special. Well, I don't think we'd have any problems finding something for you. Oh, good. And when would you want it for? I'd like to move in approximately two weeks. Let me see. It's the tenth today, so if we go for the Monday, it's the twenty-third of March. Yes. Right. Good and. If I could ask one last question.